Hey everyone, so this I'm I'm gonna try and make this a very quick video. Um this is a video response to the post that I put up on Instagram and Facebook. I'm gonna try and make it quick because Mr. Dean Samuel is asleep and if he wakes up, it's over. Um uh, anyway, these are some of the comments and questions that a lot of people have said or asked when being offered uh, an opportunity, whether it be to move to a new country or a new state, to go on a missionary trip, um, to uh, invest in a, a company, or to get a car, whatever big major decision, you know, you're most likely gonna ask these questions or make these comments. Um, and first of all, this isn't to bash anyone, this isn't, you know, to put anyone on blast, no, because these are some of the things, all of the things, that I said myself before um, my sponsor signed me. So, um, I'm speaking from my experience. Um, but I do hope and pray that uh, if you are watching and you have been in this, um, that this kind mm -hmm. of um, clarifies something so that the Holy Spirit can do what He has to do to take you out of that funk. And let me just um, make a note. All this, the Holy Spirit revealed to me, is under the umbrella of fear. Um, all this, taking a risk, we don't want to take the risk a lot of times because we are comfortable. As long as you don't pop my bubble, I'm not going to pop your bubble. You stay in your lane, I'm going to stay in my lane. That's pretty much the mentality of a lot of us. And um, in a way, it's not good. You know, um, I want to help you, and I, I w I'm sure, uh, or I'm hoping that you would want to help me. And that's pretty much what this video response is all about. Um, anyway, let's get right into it. The first one is, um, I don't feel comfortable selling things. Okay, I got you. I, at first, I was like, I'm probably not going to be good at selling things either. Little did I know, um, I'm pretty good at it. Number one. The model for our company is be a product of your product. So the only reason why um, a lot of the people in this company are successful is because they demonstrate on themselves, on their body, what they're trying to sell to you. So if it doesn't work for um, you, it's because it probably didn't work on the, pe the person who's selling it to you, which is not even the case. It works. It works. It works. Can I say it again? It works. It's the name of our company. It works so um and one thing that I love 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 about this company is that um this is not a pyramid scheme we don't help someone else get richer no the reason why this company is so so successful excuse me is because we help each other if my teammates are down I'm gonna do whatever I can to make sure that they sell so that they can make their commission that's just how this team works. That's how this company works. We are one team. Mm -hmm. We thrive together. We strive together. That's just how it is. So um, if you don't feel comfortable selling things, believe me when I tell you, when you want to build a future for your kids, for your husband, you will do whatever it takes to make it happen. I don't care who you are. I don't care um, where you're from. If you want to make a better future for your kids, because majority of the people that I have spoken to, they are parents. You will do whatever it takes to make sure that um, your kids can have what you couldn't have. For example, the reason um, that I've joined this team is because of my husband and my boys. M my three boys at the time, now it's my four boys. I couldn't uh, afford um, to get my boys into, I don't know, an after-school program, even though I homeschool, but like a karate program or something of a sport activity. This is why I joined. This is why I joined. Um, so if you don't feel comfortable selling things, ask yourself, what are you willing to do to make sure that your babies, that your husband is happy? So that they can be able to say, like, you know, we've had rough times, but look how good God has been. Because my mom, my wife made that sacrifice. She took that risk. Anyway, the next one is, so I get paid de depending on how many people I sign. Yeah. Yeah. You know, corporate America is corporate America. Nine to five, um, overtime, if they can afford it. If. That's a big if. Because a lot of companies, they don't even offer overtime anymore. So, you get paid depending on how many people you sign? Yes. 
just because we offer that this is a life-changing company that um that this is a company like no other it doesn't mean that you get paid just sitting home it don't mean that you get paid just doing nothing on your butt it means you got to work it is it, i always compare this company to the gospel you want people to hear about jesus christ you got to get out of your house you got to pick up your phone. You got to post on social media. It's the same thing with this company. You want to sell. You want to make money. You want to help your your the people under your teammates to make money. You got to work. You got to um, put together a game plan. And that's how you become successful. You put in the work. You're going to become successful. You put in your overtime. You're going to be successful. You get paid depending on how hard you work. If you put God in the center of it. I tr trust me when I tell you your your business your the company that you're building your teammates it will become successful. So here is also what if I don't succeed? I pretty much just covered that. If you don't succeed, it's because of you. Plain and simple. You work hard at what you want to make succeed. It's like parenthood. Yeah, I've had nights where Mr. over here has kept me up all night. It's been very few. The best baby that I had is my oldest, Nathan. He's 10. He was the best. He was the best. Caleb was probably our worst for chance of me. He cried a lot during the night. He's not so bad. But um, as a parent, you do whatever you have to do to make sure that your kids are fed, that they have clothes, that they have their school supplies, that they're well behaved, that they have great manners. They may drive you crazy, but you do what you got to do for who? For your babies. The same thing for your husbands or your wives. You do what you got to do to make sure that your husband and your wife are fed, that they're being catered to, that they're being loved on, that they're being respected, and that they feel secure. So... What if I don't feel, what if I don't succeed? Baby girl, honey bun, that's on you. You got to put in the work that you want to make so that you can become successful. And here, um, I've heard a lot of people say, well, a few, you know, I don't have a lot of friends and family. I do. I have a lot of friends and family, but let me let you know this. I wasn't comfortable um, approaching a lot of my friends and family. And to be honest, I'm still not because I don't, I don't want them to feel like I'm just trying to get them to sign on so that I could get paid. No, not entirely because who doesn't want to get paid? I have kids to feed. I have a family and I want my family, you know, to be well taken care of. So it's not only just for that. I want to help you because this is helping me. I want you to meet your weight goals. I want you to meet your health goals too because if my company has the goods, why would I not offer it? It's like me having the good news of Jesus Christ and me not telling people about it. So I'm stepping out of that funk. That's why I've been making videos about it. And if you are getting tired of me posting about the company, posting about um, Jesus, be my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Unfollow me. Delete me because I'm not stopping. So here, um, the famous one, I don't have the money to start. I didn't either. I'm not even gonna, I didn't have the money either. My sponsor was pursuing me for a couple of months and I guess she felt that I wanted to, even with the fear there, like I wanted to, I wanted to because I did my research. I, um, listened to the testimonies. And, um, I believed it before I saw like my results before I even looked at the results from other people. I was just like a believer. Again, it's like the gospel. It's like, I believe in Jesus, but when I see a miracle happen before my eyes, it's like, wow. Okay. I believe it. Jesus is real. This company, it really does work. And so, um, when I didn't have the money to start, what I did was, um, I discussed it with my husband. He did the same thing. He did his research. He was like, you know what? Go for it. This will be good for us. And what I did was um, with a little bit of income that I was making to help um, my husband because I'm a, I was a stay-at-home wife. And this was before I started homeschooling. So I was just a stay-at-home wife because our youngest at the time was Luke. He's now four, but he was about one years old going on two. And so what I did was I saved money. $50 here, $20, you know, the next week, and then I completed the rest. And when I had the $100, I I remember I had to pay for something. So I was like, um, dang, should I invest in this company now or like wait because I need the money for, I think it was like milk and diapers or something. 
um, I prayed. When I tell you that I prayed, I prayed, I prayed, and I said, Lord, what is it that you want me to do? We had the money, but now it's like, we don't know if this is you, if this is Satan. And what happens? I remember it clear as day. We were blessed by someone in our old church. They gave us money. And so that was a perfect opportunity because um, I believe it was for diapers. We were covered for diapers. I used the money. I made my order, and I signed up. It's all about making the sacrifice. It's all about going back to your why that you joined the team. Why should you join the team? Look around you. Make a list. Are you uh, tired of paying all your bills and then staying flat broke? That was one of our reasons. Are you tired of, you know, that you pay this, that you pay the, um, the rent, the light bill, the phones, and you can't even take your kids out for a family dinner date? That was me too. If this is you... What are you waiting for? The worst thing that can happen is that you succeed. And the worst thing that can happen is you succeed. But you won't know until you make that risk. And again, it's, hey, you don't know if Jesus Christ is the Lord if you don't take the risk. Get to know him. Get to know the company. Let's talk about it. I'm not just here trying to sign people just because. I want people... That want to build a future for their babies, for their husbands, for their wives. If this is you, then what are you waiting for? Because the cell ends tonight. And even if the cell ends tonight, if you're still interested, then let's talk. Bye.